Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. I'm Greg, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. Please consider subscribing to this channel. You can just hit that big juicy red subscribe button and subscribe to us. And also when you do, don't forget to hit that notification bell so it will notify you when I come out with videos because I don't always come out with them at the same time each day so just want to let you know about all of that and with that said let's get into today's video so today i want to talk about deshaun jackson so greg why are we talking about deshaun jackson that what so deshaun jackson he's still mulling over if he wants to play now he's already said he does want to come back but he wants to come back and play for a great uh, quarterback, all right? So, of course, he has mentioned the Kansas City Chiefs. He would love to go and play for the Kansas City Chiefs. And, of course, you know, Patrick Mahomes, he's a great quarterback, one of the elite quarterbacks in the league. And who would not want to, you know, come play with Mahomes? Uh, Kansas City certainly is a Super Bowl contender. This would be this would probably be the best opportunity for Deshaun Jackson to get a Super Bowl ring. And we all know that that's certainly something that Jackson 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 would want to have is a Super Bowl ring. But does Kansas City want him? And if Kansas City doesn't really care to have Deshaun Jackson, then could it be that the commanders would be willing to sign to bring back Deshaun Jackson? Now, of course, as you know, Deshaun Jackson was in Washington a few years back, uh, back when we had Kirk Cousins and company. And, of course, we won the NFC East in 2015. Deshaun Jackson was your home run hitter, man. I mean, you know... Kirk Cousins, all he had to do was throw the ball deep to Deshaun Jackson, and Jackson pretty much did the rest. The only downfall with Jackson, though, is basically he was good for like a couple of passes in each game, it seemed like. And I will add each game that he played in, right? So couple of passes usually one of those passes is going to be a touchdown pass because he was an electrifying football player you know it was either all or nothing it's almost like a Barry Sanders type at wide receiver right you know if you guys didn't get a chance to watch Barry Sanders play you know you saw a lot of the highlights you probably thought how in the world could Lions not be the greatest team in the league with the Barry Sanders well Barry Sanders had tremendous plays when he got the football, but he also had a lot of plays where he had, you know, he was stopped for losses and he was stopped for no gain and stuff like that. Uh, so a lot of times Barry Sanders was either, you know, nothing, all or nothing. The good thing, though, is that he was such a Hall of Famer type of player that he was more all than he was nothing. Deshaun Jackson, he's kind of similar in the fact that, you know, he, he's still a deadly weapon. I mean, he still has the Jets. Even after 14 years in the league, he can still be a deep threat. And, you know, certainly Washington could use him, especially if things kind of went sour with uh, Terry McLaurin. And let's say Terry decided... You know, he's going to sit out for the season if things could not get worked out with his contract. Now, you know, don't worry. I think things will get worked out with his contract. But even so, you know, we lost somebody like DeAndre Carter. And Deshaun Jackson could definitely be a good replacement for DeAndre Carter. And this all depends on if Washington doesn't draft a receiver you know, if Washington drafts a receiver, then maybe maybe we don't necessarily worry about it. But I think at this point, I don't think Deshaun Jackson would really command much of a salary 
you know, there's, he's already jumped from team to team to team. There's probably not going to be a lot. I mean, there's still going to be somewhat of a market for him. But, you know, the other thing is that Deshaun Jackson is not a 16 or 17 game type of player. He's not going to give you an entire season. You're lucky if you're going to get 10 games out of him. He, he's, you know, he's been broken down over the years. Body's getting a little bit more brittle. He gets hurt. So he he's going to be out, you know, several games. So he's going to give you a few games. He's going to give you some highlight reel material, but he's not necessarily going to be somebody that is going to be dependable for each and every single game. So I'm not really giving you a good, um, I, I guess, reason to want to re-sign Deshaun Jackson other than the fact that if you can get him for the vet minimum at this point, it wouldn't be a bad thing to consider bringing him back because certainly his upside is, you know, he is a deep threat. You think along with Terry McLaurin, uh, Deame Brown, and then you have Sean Jackson, three guys who are deep threat wide receivers. I mean, Talking about stretching the field, you would stretch the field to the point to where it would be completely unfair for the other team. Yeah, I mean, again, you're talking about a, a wide receiver who would be, what, 14, 15 years into the league. Certainly, he's lost something, but he still has the Jets, and he's still a receiver that could probably do some damage to you. And you know, the defenses are going to be double teaming down on Terry McLaurin anyway. And Deami Brown, you know, he he can get open down the field as well. So, I mean, who knows? Um, it could be something that the commanders consider, and they may want to bring him in just to see if he can be a good fit. I enjoyed watching Deshaun Jackson when he was – in Washington before, you know, having Kirk Cousins throwing to him was was, uh, was a good combination. And I think you know having Carson Wentz, you know, Carson is not afraid uh, is not afraid to throw the football deep. So it's a good combination already. You know, Carson Wentz has the arm. It's not like, you know, our beloved Taylor Heineke, who bless his heart. I love him to death, but he, he just doesn't have the arm. Uh, Carson Wentz has the arm. So if Carson Wentz gets the ball downfield, nine times out of ten, you're going to have uh, Deshaun Jackson coming down with the pass. And nine times out of ten, if he catches it, it's going to be a touchdown. And so this could be a really solid connection and of course you know the connection already the philly connection so this could be a very positive situation and could be a situation that deshaun jackson looks at i mean i don't think that he would be turned off from the fact of heading back to washington he went back to philly uh for a little bit i think he would consider going back to washington uh, but would washington take him back Possibly again, we lost DeAndre Carter. So, you know, if we could have Deshaun Jackson again as kind of like a one year rental, um, especially if things are a little bit up in the air with Terry McLaurin's contract, it may not be such a bad idea to consider bringing Deshaun Jackson in. Um, I would love to see him again. Anyway, tell, tell me, guys, what you think. Deshaun Jackson back in Washington as a commander this time could happen. Let me know in the comments section what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, sharing it with your buddies. Uh, again, if you're enjoying this channel, please consider subscribing to this channel. I need all of your subscriptions. I need your likes. I need your comments. I need to get this YouTube algorithm geared up because it has been suffering here lately. And also, if you really want to support this channel, please visit my Patreon page. It is downstairs in the 
link section in the description of this YouTube uh, video. So, and before I before I stumble over any other words, I'm going to end this video. You guys take care. Have a great day.